everyone, it's Liddy and welcome back to my channel. We're gonna go manga shopping today. Come with me. in the cone and then um, you want strawberries and cream on a cone Waterstones first. I just wanted to take a little look at the Waterstones section. Waterstones has quite a small section of manga, so yeah, not too much to see. And I just had to tell these two to excuse me because they were in the way. And we're gonna go to the little section that they have. Waterstones manga is always full price, so I usually don't buy that much there so usually I just have a little browse to see what they have sometimes they have some good selection of things that are normally not in stock so yeah I like to just have a little browse to see what they have and they have quite a few things I can see the apothecary diaries they have assassination classroom and here I see the beauty beauty and the beast of paradise lost I got that one recently by Kaoru Yuki yeah, I'm interested to see that one. I can see Blue Period and The Boxer. I really want to read The Boxer, but... And I saw Bloom Into You, which is something I don't really see in the stores anymore. I am really interested in trying this one because it is like an OG GL series that a lot of people have talked about. And then we have the classic Chainsaw Man and I can see Dan Da Dan and Demon Slayer. We've got... Quite a few interesting series here. They have the Fruits Basket Collector's Edition. Obviously, I'm trying to get these online. As they are a lot cheaper. Yeah, and then also Flying Witch, which I saw that people really enjoyed before, but I haven't heard many people talk about it recently. And then we have Haiku, some Danmei here. And we have the Husky and his White Cat Shizun, which is also a new Danmei that a lot of people are talking about. And of course, there's some Jojo's. I see I hear the sunspot. And then here we have Toilet by Hanukkah-kun. One of the mangas that I'm reading currently, which is really good. Tokyo Ghoul, Tokyo Revengers, and some other things. And now we're on our way to my local Forbidden Planet. So this Forbidden Planet is the closest one that I have near me. So... Yeah, let's go explore what they have. Usually their selection is quite small, so there's not too much, but sometimes they have new releases, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's see what they have. And I look at the figure section first. They have quite a few coupon kits, different types of figures. Sometimes we find some ones that come out new in stock as well. So yeah, they do have quite a good selection surprisingly and then we have some of the manga promised neverland i was really interested in actually getting the promised neverland and the polar bear cafe as well looked really cute a lot of people have not been talking about the promised neverland anymore but it was popular back in the day and it is finished now so i'm wondering if i should start collecting and here we have pulse this one was the one that i really wanted to get today so i found it which is great and then we have some more other viz 
and then Seaside Stranger which is one that I actually bought online recently on World of Books so really happy to see that there and then we have Snow White and the Red Hair which is also something I've been holding myself back from collecting but we shall see if I ever take the plunge and then Spy Family and you will see what I actually bought at the end of the vlog so stay tuned for that but we can see the that I am picking up volume 4 and also we can see that the new Tokyo Revengers volume has come out but it is £20 so <laughs> I will probably try to find it online somewhere and then loads of jo Jojo's and Jujutsu Kaisen volumes and they have Kaiju number 8 but they didn't have Kaiju number 8 volume 5 which is the new volume they're usually quite good with new volumes so I'm surprised that they didn't have it and it was quite sad not seeing it there. And then we come to some more shonen, Komi and Mashal, some things that I'm not too interested in. And they had Marmalade Boy which is something I was really interested in picking up only because it is a shoujo classic. And then something I never heard of before as well, Malevolent Spirits Monogatari. It looked quite interesting. And then we have more Shonen series. And yeah, I saw Barbarities there. This one I recently picked up on a pre-order. So it was nice to see that they are actually stocking new releases. A lot more than I expected actually. And then I saw Children of the Whales and something interesting, this one, Country Without Humans, I think? And then Chainsaw Man. I heard they're coming out with a box set for Chainsaw Man now, which is interesting. And then we got some Demon Slayer, a whole, whole section of Demon Slayer. Something I haven't really delved into much. And then we have Fly Me to the Moon, I can see Free Run. And then the Full Metal Alchemist Deluxe Editions. And then we have Haikyuu at the bottom there. And I can see the new volume of Given, which I also pre-ordered already. So I didn't pick it up here, but you can get a 3 for 2 on it if you do find it in Forbidden Planet. And then we got Hell's Paradise. And they still don't have Hell's Paradise 2, which is a shame. But I found the volume 4 of I'm in Love with the Villainous which I didn't think they would restock here. And then more Jojo's, lots of Jojo's. And then we have some of the, I think the Empress volumes. So you can see Toilet Bound, Wotokoi. And they have the Shy, which is this one some, a lot of manga tubers have been talking about. Yeah, Yempress isn't three for two at Forbidden Planet, so I usually don't, I usually don't pick up Yen Press volumes here much. And then they have some Kadansha as well, which I don't usually pick up either because usually I can find Kadansha and Yen Press volumes for cheaper online. And then they had My Secret Affection, which is a very strange shoujo romance series, which I thought was, the concept is very strange. So I would implore you to look it up before you pick it. <laughs> and then they have Bungo Stray Dogs, which is something that I'm continuously collecting. They also had the Boxer, and then some Dan Mei as well, and some art books. And then obviously they have One Punch Man and lots of One Piece. Hey guys, welcome to my manga room. So this is kind of my office space slash where all my books are. I pretty much use this to work as well as play games. So yeah, I might do a tour of my manga room slash office another time, but I just wanted to insert this to show you what I got at Forbidden Planet. So the first thing I got was Spy Family Volume 4. So this one was the one volume that I've been missing for quite a few months now. So I finally found it in store and obviously as a 3 for 2 offer, I picked it up. This one was the one with the doggo in it. I forgot what the dog's name is, but this one was the one with 
that character in it. I still haven't read the manga yet, so yeah, I need to get on it. I mean, I watched the anime and I really enjoyed the anime, so yeah. Then we have some volumes that are not mine, but some of the stuff here is, yeah, some of the stuff here is my husband's, so he got One Punch Man Volume 4, Volume 5, and Volume 6. So I actually don't read One Punch Man, and I have not really finished watching the anime either, but I know it's quite popular, so... Yeah, let me know if you've read One Punch Man and you enjoy it. But yeah, this is not for me, but yeah. We got Blue Box Volume 2. So we have the first volume of this, but we still haven't read it yet. But it we needed something for the 3 for 2, so we ended up just picking it up. I know this one is about um, badminton, I think. Is it about badminton? I think it is. Yes, it's about badminton and... Something about basketball as well, so maybe it's about multiple things, but yeah, we got um, volume two. Apparently it's good. Some people said that the romance is a little annoying, but yeah, we'll see. Gotta read it to find out if um, we like it as well. And then I got Moriarty, the Patriot volume nine. I actually still haven't continued reading this, but I am, I did really enjoy what I read, so I ended up just picking up 9 because there wasn't any other Viz volume that I was interested in getting. I was really tempted to get The Promised Neverland, but I ended up not and just picking up this instead because it is an ongoing series and I don't think I should start collecting a new one just yet. So, yeah. Another one I got for my husband was... Full Metal Alchemist, what edition is this? I don't really know what edition this is. I think this is like a collector's edition or a deluxe edition, but volume four. Yeah, he's continuing to collect this and try to finish this collection. So I don't know how many more he has left, but he's continuing to find it. So, and we found it in Forbidden Planet today. So we got it and it was good because it was, really good 3 for 2 for two of the volumes that I wanted to get so in part of the 3 for 2 I got Marmalade Boy so this one was also the same price point as the Full Metal Alchemist and the one that's left in here and yeah so this one is a new release and it is a really old series that came out way back in the day when I was really young I remember seeing it in the back you know how they used to put like manga ads in the back of um, manga back in the day? I used to see it there when I used to read like Tokyo Pop stuff. And I always was interested to read it, but I never got it when I was younger, which I kind of regret. But I never actually read it, so I am going to try and see if I like it. And it is like a very classic shoujo, so... I am interested to read it, but I know this is like a stepbrother thing, I think. I think they like each other before their parents get married. So I'm hoping that's the story because it is a little bit, you know, not conventional. I don't know, not gonna lie. I feel like shoujo, sh some sh shoujo romances do have a step sibling plot in, in it like what i read recently was love me love me not by Aosaki Saka which i did not enjoy i really didn't enjoy that one sadly um but yeah a lot of people say this is a classic so i just got it um i actually had it pre-ordered but then i cancelled a lot of pre-orders recently because um i realized that some of them are actually coming out in the store in the my local forbidden planet so I decided to cancel a lot of pre-orders and I've been finding them quite cheap online, especially on World of Books. So I decided to cancel a lot of pre-orders and yeah, I found this one in the store today. So I decided why not because there was one volume of my manga that I wanted to get today and I needed a specific price point for it, which is 
uh, Pulse by Ratana Satis. So this is by a Thai author and it is a GL manhwa. So it is cast as a manhwa, I think, because it's it's published by Lesson. And but I think the author is um Thai, so yeah, but this is a basically a mature uh, GL story about a surgeon who has quite like a cold heart she doesn't really open up to anyone she pretty much only has like friends with benefits one night stands um, and then she meets this girl who has a heart condition and they kind of have a bet where if she can make her fall in love with her then she has to become her heart surgeon and do her heart surgery for her um, because she's apparently like the best heart surgeon in that hospital so yeah so it's kind of like that and it is an 18 plus manhwa so it has explicit content so just you can see over 18 only and it was plastic wrap but it kind of like i don't know it just look it just kind of fell apart so yeah but i really wanted this i have volume two over here yeah, I have volume 2 already because I found it on World of Books for a really good price. So I already got this one. So I have one too. And obviously, as you know, I want to support my manhwa prints that are coming out. Especially, I think this is the first Girls Love manhwa that has been published in English. So we got to support it so we can get more because I really want some more ones to come out in English for sure. So yeah, so I decided to get them. So this one was um, $16.99, which is obviously quite expensive. It is by Seven Seas, so you can get it three for two. So that's why I ended up getting um, Marmalade Boy and Full Metal Alchemist as the three for two because these are all $19.99 US dollars. So they were all the same price point. But it's kind of mad that these are all the same price points when this is like a deluxe edition and it's a hardcover and this is like thick and then this is like so thin but it is full color so it's kind of crazy that these are all three the same price point but yeah but yeah that is my haul for today on my forbidden planet journey these are everything i got i hope it's all the right way around no it's not one second so this is everything i got um on my food planet shopping haul today i hope you enjoyed this small vlog i did want to film my top 10 manga of 2022 i still haven't done that yet i haven't had much time to film so i'm gonna do that hopefully soon but yeah i hope you enjoyed this small vlog and haul and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video Bye!